we're going. With that, Ryan, good to see you. Thanks. It's all yours. Take over. All right. Thanks, Goose. So you've seen a taste of the future from the parts inside the machine that Goog showed to the finished products. And you're building the devices that people really just love. And I'm going to show you those scenarios that Goog's talked about that kind of brings that software and hardware together, and it demonstrates why Windows is still the most innovative platform and where we will succeed together. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with a PC. Now this right here is the Lenovo U260. Lightweight, stylish design, exquisite attention to detail. There's leather palm rests here, and they've even innovated the way the air flows through the keyboard to keep it nice and cool. Now, even when I'm away from home, you know, Windows keeps me feeling close to the people in my lives. And so one of the ways they do that is with the free Windows Live Essential Suite. Now, it offers everything. It's got HD video chat, advanced photo tools, and it's got social media integrated throughout. <clears throat> but what I love and what I want to show you today is how with a little bit of extra hardware, I'm able to power some very cool and very new scenarios. Now, behind me over here is the Acer Revo Center home server. Now, it's powered by Windows Home Server 2011, and it does everything you'd expect from something with the name server, and it can back up my PCs, it connects to all of the media in my house. Um, but let me show you the new interface here. So right now, I'm, I've accessed it through a website, which means I can access it on any computer from anywhere that I'm traveling. So uh, what I want to show, here I've got my shared folders, and then I also have my media library. If I come over here to browse music, I go ahead and click this, and it's going to connect to my music server, uh, or to all my music files. I can go ahead, hit play, and it's going to start streaming those uh, right from my living room. It's got this nice uh, music interface that not only is it going to start streaming the music, but it's going to go ahead and I can, click, I can click into some of these. I can get some metadata about the different tracks, and uh, it starts playing that nice and quickly. So I've got that for music. Now, over here, uh, Goog showed the Tron Lightcycle PC. Well, what he didn't know was last Halloween, actually, a couple of my friends and I, we decided to dress up as Tron. We made some costumes. So I figured I'd pull those from the server, kind of show off some of these photos. You get this nice view to kind of look at the photos, have a little bit of fun with it. Now, it's not only photos and, uh, and, not, and music, but it also connects to my videos. I've got my media center at home. So I go into recorded TV, and we set up some, uh, some content here so that we could kind of come in and see what this looks like. It's going to buffer this over the website, it'll transcode it, and it'll actually play its streaming to wherever I am. So it'll take a second to go ahead and load that up, and uh, this will start buffering. There you see it going. And as it does this, I get my local content right there. Now if I'm not at a computer, what I also have, I've got my Windows Phone 7. So uh, what I have here is actually an app that allows me to connect to my music, my photos, my videos. And this is tied to the home server that's right behind me as well. So I click on videos, I see some of the videos on there, I go ahead and click one, and as I click that, it's again, it's going to start transcoding it, it's going to bring it down uh, to my phone. It'll take a little bit of time to buffer that, and then it'll start playing, you see, right there uh, very quickly, and it should start playing in just a second. So bringing the content uh, down to me, I mean, everything is just at my fingertips. Literally, no matter where I am, there you see it playing, and literally, no matter where I am in the world, uh, my home server machine, uh, it just makes me feel like I'm in my living room, which is just great. So 